Who are really going to do this? I don't know what you want me to say. Hello would be a start. Maybe a, how are you? What the fuck have you been doing for the past three fucking years? I can see your temp hasn't changed. What about you, Freddie? Been up to much? Yeah, well, good news actually. Business has been booming. I've been given a promotion. <laughs> Lucky fucking you. I don't know why you're angry at me for. You can't let me be happy for one fucking second, can you? This wasn't my fault. No, nothing ever is your fault. Perfect little Gracie. Don't call me that. Hit a nerve of mine. John, no. Not now. He pipes up. I'm not doing this right now. This isn't what she would have wanted. He's right. He's right, is he? What do you mean? See, I don't think people are right. Gamble away £10,000. Joe, we've spoke about this. What, you've been talking about me? He was grieving. He needed help. Well, you're not the talk of the town, but you have come up in the past three fucking years. What? Please, don't get angry. But what do you expect? It was your fault. You're meant to have my back. You know this isn't me. You know it's not like me. Really? <laughs> and your hand, then. That's not like you either. Lost all my money in that fucking shithole. Besides, if I did have any money, I wouldn't give any to you. You dirty fucking twat. <laughs> <laughs> you ears, you little tramp. all over it because you know what? Dad didn't want you having the money, did he? Fuck Dad. Joe! <laughs> no. You don't get to say anything, not when you're Daddy's little princess. He loved us all. You know that. My little Gracie. My little superstar. That's what you'd say. You've got it all, haven't you? The snazzy apartment. The nice promotion. Must feel shit slumming here with us for the week. Let's have a cheers. For Joe, stop. They would have absolutely hated this. Yeah, I know. She's just us now. Do you think she's here?
Dear all, I am so sorry you have to read this. You have no idea how sorry I am. I didn't want this to happen. Trust me. I tried so hard to stop this, to push all my feelings down and replace them with thoughts of you. But I've been holding it down for so many years. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hope you can understand. I love you all so dearly and I wish I could have told you how I felt. I hope my death has finally brought everybody together, even if it's for a few short moments. I love you so much. Of course she fucking isn't. She's dead. Oh yeah, do you not think we know that? That's why we're stuck in this shithole. This shithole is what's our family home, which we both have forgotten about. We know I couldn't live here after Dad left. It was fucking hell. So you leave me and someone to do with it. Joe, you know it wasn't like that. We knew Mum could look after you. Well, a great job she did. Someone's gone because that psycho bitch. I'll have you know that psycho bitch is our mother. And she did everything she could for us. Made us the people that we are today. The people we are today. Please. We've not seen each other in three fucking years. And you're sat at the table like Benny fucking Blanco. Someone did the right thing by leaving this family. Joe! You know what? Fuck this! Here we go again. Another typical half. Now, Joe, this isn't a buff. Alright, I am done with this family. You sit there talking behind me back. You come up with excuses for why you haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, I know I'm a shit person, but at least I can appreciate the fact that I am. So don't sit there as if you're in some sort of throne of authority. Because, Joe, let's not forget what you did. Alright? Let's not forget how you ruined our little sister's life. <laughs>